Okay, here's a picture of the situation. Uh, this is the equation of the circle in center radius form. Center is at one, one. This is R squared, radical three squared is three. That green circle is the graph of that equation. <clears throat> We're asked to find the x-intercepts, that is the coordinates of these two points right here. And it looks like those points have exact values one plus the square root of two and one minus the square root of two. Question is, how do we find them uh, algebraically? Well, the x-intercepts occur when y equals zero. So if we put zero in for this y, we get x minus one, the quantity squared, plus one, because zero minus one is negative one, negative one squared is one, equals three. Now we could square this binomial, collect all the terms on the left side, equal to zero and solve by factoring or the quadratic formula. <clears throat> but the way this equation is written right now, the easiest thing to do is to isolate this, this binomial squared by subtracting one from both sides. Take the square root of both sides. Square root is something, squared is something. Square root of two, there's two square roots, plus or minus the square root of 2. And now when we solve for x, we add 1 to both sides. And there are, are the values for the two x-intercepts. 1 plus the square root of 2 and 1 minus the square root of 2. Um, you could put this value in for x zero in for y because again the x-intercepts are one plus the square root of two comma zero and one minus the square root of two comma zero so if you plug these values in for x and y in the original equation you would see that you would get a value of three i'm not going to do that here but hopefully that gave you some idea how to tackle similar problems. There you go. If you have any questions, post a comment.